Hey everybody, Bob Thompson from Smartphone Matters. Today we're going to take a look at SIM cards. Your smartphone may need a SIM card to work with your cellular telephone company. What is a SIM card? SIM is a small card that's associated with your cell phone account and your phone number. You put this card inside of your smartphone. It does two things. It allows your smartphone to find your cellular telephone company's network and it allows your cellular telephone company to recognize which phone on their network belongs to you. There's a couple advantages to using SIM cards. Because your cell phone account is associated with the SIM but not the phone, you can take your SIM and move it to any phone. So for example, suppose you had a SIM card you were using in your iPhone but you decided you wanted to try a Windows phone. You could just simply move your SIM card from the iPhone to the Windows phone and try it out. And everything will just work. If you uh, buy a new phone or if your new phone breaks and you want to go back to your old phone, simply move your SIM card. Uh, the other great advantage is you can use different SIM cards in your smartphone. So for example, suppose you're going to be traveling abroad, maybe you're going to be studying abroad, and you have an AT&T account in the US with a SIM card in your phone. When you go to Europe, you can purchase a SIM card for a local telephone company in Europe, and you'll save big on roaming rates. It'll be a lot less expensive and you'll have a local phone number for your extended stay in Europe. So again, two advantages to SIM cards. You can move your SIM card between phones and you can use different SIM cards with your phone. Let's take a look at the actual SIM cards. Your SIM card is, it's just a piece of plastic with some metal contacts on the back and some electronic circuitry inside which makes that work. Um, when you choose your SIM card, you need to get the right SIM card for your cellular telephone company. So if you are using AT&T service, you need to get an AT&T SIM. If you're using T-Mobile, you need to get a T-Mobile SIM. If you want to use Straight Talk Wireless, you need to get one of the SIM cards that Straight Talk Wireless uses. It's important to have the right SIM card for your network. Next, SIM cards come in sizes. There's the standard size SIM, the micro SIM, and the nano SIM. So here we have three different examples of nano SIMs. You need to pick the right size SIM for your phone. So when you purchase your SIM card, it'll come on a piece of plastic about the size of a credit card and then the SIM is perforated on the card you punch that out before you put it in your phone. Um, here you can see that we have the standard, the micro, and the nano SIM. So a couple of tips. When you buy your SIM card, you may not be able to tell what size it is simply by looking at the plastic card. You can see here this standard size SIM is labeled SIM card. This micro SIM is labeled SIM card. This nano SIM isn't labeled at all. If you look at the SIM card itself, you'll see that there's a small uh, cut corner. If you take the the SIM and put the contact side up and orient the corner so it's in the bottom right. You can see some of the difference. So the, the standard size SIM has a large amount of plastic on the right hand side. The now, uh, the micro SIM has only a smaller strip of plastic on the bottom of the SIM. And finally, the nano SIM has almost no plastic around the sides. 
So that's an easy way to tell by looking at the sims. So you see a lot of plastic, standard. If you see a little plastic on the bottom, micro, almost no plastic around the edges, nano sim. The other thing that you can do is sometimes look at all the packaging. So these two straight talk sims came in this sleeve. And you can see here it's labeled standard size sim, and then that card was slid in here. Then it's labeled micro size sim here. I'm not sure why they don't label the card, but just make sure you look at all the packaging and you can probably figure it out. You need to choose the correct size sim for your phone. To install the sim in your phone, you're going to need a sim ejection tool. A sim ejection tool is just a small pointed piece of metal that will punch into a hole, hole on the side of the phone to remove the SIM tray. Uh, often these come in the box when you buy your phone. This particular SIM tool came with a Nokia phone. This one came with a Google Nexus 5. You can also buy them on eBay. I think I got six for $1.50. If you don't have a SIM ejection tool, uh, often you can get by with a small paper clip and you just bend it up. It's uh, not as good as a sim ejection tool, but it gets the job done. All right, so you would take your phone, locate the sim tray on this particular phone. It's on the top. There's a small ejection hole right to the uh, side of the headphone jack. You would take your SIM tool, insert it in that hole, give it a good push, and pull out the SIM tray. Once the SIM tray is out, you want to install the SIM into the SIM tray. Uh, if you look at the SIM tray, you'll notice that there is a cut corner in the SIM tray. So you want to make sure when you take your SIM, you orient the cut corner on your SIM with the cut corner on the SIM tray. Place the SIM in the SIM tray. Now you need to orient and put the SIM tray back in your phone. With the iPhone 3G, you'll see on the side of the SIM tray you can see the ejection hole. If you look at the top of your phone, you can see that uh, which edge had the hole and slide the SIM tray back in. Make sure when you're pushing it in it goes smoothly right up to the last point where you push and you'll hear a little snap. Okay, so that's the standard SIM in an iPhone 3G. Uh, more modern smartphones like this Windows 8 phone, in this case a Nokia Lumia 920 use the micro sim so on the top of this phone we can see here's the sim tray take the tool nice little click when you eject the sim tray and you take your micro sim again you locate the corner the cut corner on the sim and then you look at the sim tray for the cut corner in this case, it's on the outer facing edge. All right, and you align the two cut corners, slide the SIM into the tray. Uh, with this phone, you get a nice snap when it goes in, and it's in there kind of snugly. And then again, you uh, look to install the tray back into the phone, making sure that you orient it the correct way. Again, you want the SIM tray to slide very easy right up to the last minute. If you try and put it in backwards, it's not going in very smooth. So slide that in right to the last minute and a click. Finally, the Nano SIM. The Nano SIM. Uh, as far as I know, Apple's the only manufacturer using the NanoSIM. 
they use it for the iPhone 5S, the iPhone 5C, and the iPhone 5. So here's my iPhone 5S. The SIM tray is on the right side of the phone. I take the SIM ejection tool, put it in the hole, push, get a nice little click. The SIM tray comes out, slides out. Now we look at the SIM tray. We can see here's the cut corner. Uh, if you look carefully, you can see there's two little rails. We're going to take this nano SIM. This is actually is my SIM for my for my iPhone, and I'm putting it back in. You line that up in the tray. It once it's in the tray, then you make sure that you orient the tray back correctly with the slot on the phone. Again, the tray has the small hole for ejecting the SIM. You can see that hole. You make sure that you put the SIM back in the phone correctly and give it a push. Since this SIM card is active, we can see that my phone went from no SIM to TFW, meaning my phone is back on the network that quick. Okay, so again, we talked about what a SIM card is, and why it's important to have one, making sure that you get the right SIM card for your network, making sure that you get the right SIM card, and how to put it into your phone. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you very much. Again, Bob Thompson, SmartphoneMatters.com.